I coded a personality quiz inspired by nostalgic games I used to play. I designed pixel art cats, wrote the questions and answers, and even figured out my way through JavaScript to make it all work. In this video, I will show you how I did this. I wanted to create something that felt nostalgic. Back when I was younger, my friends and I would take BuzzFeed quizzes to figure out silly things like what type of pasta or what type of fruit we were. I feel like as people, we are naturally really inquisitive and introspective. It's always fun learning more about ourselves, and in turn, also really exciting learning more about others. When exploring what I should make my quiz about, YouTube told me that a lot of my audience are cat lovers. I'm not sure how true this is, but I decided to center my personality quiz around cats. It was also a fun way to reconnect with the pet games I grew up on. Let's now dive into the core concept of the quiz. The main objective of the quiz is for the player to answer a series of questions to discover their cat companion. Here's how the quiz works. Each cat type starts at zero. Every time you answer a question, your choice adds a point to one or more cats. So for example, for this question, there are four answers and each answer is linked to one of the cat types. If the player chooses option B, a point gets added to the curious cat. Some answers boost multiple cats. If the player chooses go of the flow, a point gets added to both the playful cat and the curious cat. At the end, the quiz tallies the points and the cat with the highest score is your result. For this project, the things that I'll need to work on are 1. Create assets needed for the quiz 2. I need to mock up the quiz to see what it would look and feel like 3. Writing the copy for the questions and the answers and 4. Putting everything together via code For this project, I decided on pixel art as the style. It perfectly captures the nostalgic vibe I wanted. Something playful, retro, and whimsical. PicSquare kindly gave me free access to try their app. This video isn't sponsored and all opinions are my own. I started by creating a base model of the cat and then drew it in different poses to give me a good variety to work with. I wanted a few different cats, each with their own unique personality. To make them stand out, I based them on different elements. That way, the art would be more fun to create and also give the quiz a whimsical feel. To add immersion, I designed a little quote-unquote pet shop sprite. Back when I played older RPGs in the early 2000s, even a tiny pixel building could transport me into a whole new world. It's funny thinking back now, I didn't need virtual reality or any fancy graphics to make me feel immersed. I wanted to evoke the same nostalgia with this project. To make this quiz more engaging, I decided to add an NPC guide. I started with sketches of what she might look like. After that, I turned her into a pixel art sprite. I feel like having a character really ties the experience together and makes it feel a lot more immersive. That way, instead of having just plain text, you'll now have a character walking you through the dialogue. The next step was writing the quiz itself, the questions, answers, and dialogue. I was a little stuck when I first started. I looked at different personality quizzes for inspiration, from BuzzFeed classics to even the Meyer Briggs personality test. Once I had ideas, I started writing. After that, I started brainstorming the cat descriptions. A lot of these cats are actually inspired by characters that I love. I wanted to make it so that every cat type felt personalized and thoughtful. 
After figuring out the cat personalities and creating the art assets, the next step was to put everything together visually. I opened up Figma to mock up the quiz. For the design, I wanted something straightforward and clean. A lot of the older games back in the day were really simple, but yet so immersive. I used that as inspiration for the UX slash UI design for my quiz. At this stage, I wasn't obsessing over tiny details. My goal was just to capture the feel of the quiz. But as I worked, I felt like something was missing. The screens looked a little bit empty, so I decided to create a background. I first tried sketching the background in pixel art to match the cats and buildings. I wanted something simple and atmospheric, so I went with a minimal landscape. But once I placed it in the mock-up, something didn't feel right. Next, I redrew it in Procreate with a more illustrative style, hoping it would fit better. Still, when I tested it in the mock-up, it fell off. Finally, I switched to a vector style and that third attempt worked. I was happy with the result, so I decided to use it as a background. And finally, the most challenging part of this project was the coding. If you've seen my past videos, you know coding really isn't my strongest area. I've dabbled a little bit with programming logic before, like in my Scratch project, so I had a tiny foundation. I also still remembered some basics of HTML and CSS. Because it's been a while, I spent some time brushing up and honestly relied a lot on Google and Stack Overflow whenever I got stuck. JavaScript challenged me the most because that's where all the quiz logic came together. I knew I wasn't going to master the language overnight or even in a week, so instead I just focused on learning enough to bring my idea to life. I watched a lot of tutorials, scrolled through endless Stack Overflow threads, and even asked a few peers for help. I'm not really a programmer, so I didn't put pressure on myself to be perfect or to invent anything from scratch. For me, success was simply just getting the quiz to work. I also spent a lot of time debugging and making sure things looked good for mobile, tablet, and desktop. The link to the final quiz is in the description box below. Feel free to give it a try. And if you do, let me know in the comments which cat you got. My cat type is the plant kitty. If you share your results, please tag me as I'd love to see them. Feel free to tag me on either Instagram or Blue Sky. My handle is at Design. I also share a lot of behind the scenes on my Instagram stories and plan to post more art and short form content soon. If you'd like to see more updates, definitely follow me there. I had so much fun working on this project and I definitely learned a lot along the way. For me personally, I learned best by doing and through this project, I came out knowing so much more than when I first started. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe as it really helps me out. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.